Now, President Trump says he will be declaring an opioid crisis a national disaster, and he will do that next week. This after recent reports pin some of the blame on the drug industry and Congress, according to some critics. Health officials reportedly now are trying to come up with the exact plan to deal with this. Dr. Manny Alvarez is with the senior managing editor for FoxNewsHealth.com. Dr. Manny, the opioid epidemic in our country is totally devastating, as we all know. Many people know someone who has fallen victim to this. What do you think the president will be able to do? Look, I give the, uh, the president an A-plus uh, because this is the first time a president is making this a national emergency. You know, when you make something a national emergency, you put it in the forefront. Basically, is telling all the bureaucrats, all the pharmaceutical companies, all the doctors, figure it out. In other words, this is a national emergency. You got to figure it out. You know, you know. I, I, since he announced that he was going to make this uh, th this declaration, I saw a lot of critics and saying, "Is what's his plan? What's his plan?" You know what? You figure it out. He's telling you that this has to be in the forefront of a national medical crisis, which, by the way, did not start January 1st, 2017. It started about 15 years ago. President Obama talked about it. He never declared a national emergency. He talked about it. It was a political football. Yes, yes, people are dying. Oh, my God. Uh, Bush got a little bit of that. He didn't do anything. And the crisis basically now is out of control because this is about addiction. This is about a condition that the individual person many times cannot, he or himself, get rid of, right? So, you know, it's like smoking. You can't, you know, you can't stop smoking. So you have to find strategies to make sure that people smoke less. Same thing here. So the president, by doing this declaration, is putting the Congress, the, all the agencies that are full of bureaucrats that haven't done anything for a long time, in notice, Please get your act together and fix this wow. problem. Wow, you, you, you haven't done anything? They haven't I done mean, anything. Don't doctors, Listen, say, don't doctors we, we, have some responsibility? Of they course they have responsibility, but we keep, you know, in, the, in your entry, you basically said, uh, now people are blaming this and that and the other. Everything in America, we look for who's to blame rather than fixing the problem. Fix the problem, not the blame, like that cliche says. What do you think should be done? More programs uh, when someone Well, is I think that what's going to what yeah. he what has to be done is you need to have the states come up with individual plans because the crisis is unique in every state, number one. And then after that, then you get, uh, you know, whatever, block grants into your state and you put uh, sort of, uh, uh, you know, um, things that you can monitor the success of programs so you don't throw money away. A lot of times, you know, we, we declare an emergency, we give millions, billions of dollars of money to the states. What happens? It disappears. Nothing happens. Nothing changed. Nothing is moved. Uh, you know, Vermont has a fantastic program. Right. Vermont has a program where they go into communities and neighborhoods and they pinpoint. You can, they can recognize right. this, kind of like through the census, and they can track this stuff. Right. Could that be a model nationwide to try and get to people who are addicted, to try and deal with them and intervene yeah. and, and give them other Oh, of, of course it can. And if you, you know, if you look at that model, yeah. basically people are getting up from their chairs and go physically to do the work. Yes. Everything that happens in Washington in committees, everybody sits in a suit behind desk, they order coffee and bagels, and they talk for an hour and a half and nothing gets done. And I think that's exactly what the president is going to say in making this a national priority. Does it need he a, he does deserves it, an does A+. Does it need a new agency? What does it need in order well, to Well, I think, a, listen, I think you have enough final. agencies already involved in many things. But yeah. if you look at the the uh, human services, um, again, they, they, they've been sitting on this problem for years, and they have billions of dollars that, that they could have used more effectively in fighting this. Do you think they'll get uh, a handle on it? You have to. You have to. This is a this is a crisis. You have to. This this is no going back. If, if you you can't put this genie back in the bottle, and that's exactly what the president said. All right, Doctor Manny, thank you. It is a crisis, and it has torn apart so many families and cleaned the lives of so many, so many of our fellow Americans and you citizens. You got that right. Sadly. Thank you so much.